They are some of the world's most beautiful and majestic animals, and in the last few decades, we've lost them at an alarming rate. According to a new report from the World Wildlife Fund, global populations of animals have declined by 58 percent between 1970 and 2012. So it's not just confined to Africa or confined to a, a local place. It's across the world, land, sea, oceans, fresh water, and it's pervasive. Colby Locks helped conduct the research and says animals living in the lakes and rivers and freshwater systems across the world have been hit hardest, with an 81 percent population decline. Behind the rise, human behavior, things like climate change, pollution, but the two top factors, habitat loss and poaching. As our food systems require more space, we lose forests to soybean um, or acacia or um, oil palm and things like that, or we are fishing out our oceans um, of, of all the fish. So have you worked to save any freshwater species? We have, yeah. The uh, Denver Zoo uh, has been working in Madagascar for probably 10 plus years now. Brian Acone oversees animal conservation at the Denver Zoo. He says helping conserve animals isn't always easy, whether it's done in-house or in their natural habitat. One example, the Lake Titicaca frog they are working to save in Peru. And we work on, all right, how do we address those factors? How do we work with the communities? How do we work with the government? to say, hey, if we want to save this frog and it's the only place that it occurs, these are the things that we need to do. Despite the challenges, he and researchers believe animals can be saved. I think there'll be a lot of these billions of personal changes everyone makes around the world, whether you want to eat less meat or do you want to uh, use it, um, renewable energies, but it's going to be a personal decision. And For the now, I'm Kumasi Aaron.